Hi everyone, uh, you may be pleased to know that it's back to normal this week for the videos which means um, just me, the camera, the cinema room, a couple of movies to be discussed, a slightly unsettling bit of motion sickness because I have the phone finally balanced on a surface that isn't even, uh, so yay, as professional as ever. Uh, this week, though, I did get a couple of things. I did mention uh, there might be something coming along. And first of all, I caved in. I went to the A24 website. I didn't get the um, 4K because I still don't have 4K capabilities. But I did get the, um, the Blu-ray and all of the bits and pieces uh, in there, the Blu-ray is actually in the player at the moment, so it's a really nice package. I do like the uh, little A24 receipt. Um, it's it's my personal favourite concert movie of all time, and I think for quite a few people, it's got to be up there as a contender for the best concert movie of all time, and. If you order from A24's website, then you do get a digital copy as well. So that's a, a bonus. You can play that anywhere. But I know the point is to have the, the Blu-ray and play it through the, the biggest screen with the biggest speakers, hopefully. But um, it is, the disc seems to be region free. So there you go. I thought I would let people know about that as well because I wasn't entirely sure. I figured if the worst comes to the worst, I will play it on my smaller multi-region player. But I wanted to be able to enjoy it in the cinema room, uh, where I've enjoyed the DVD version before and uh, and had a good time with it. So it is region free, it does play and uh, it's well worth getting, although it costs a little bit more than, than usual and I'm not mentioning that to anyone else. Uh, that's not why I have a red face. It's not embarrassment or shame. That is just the sun. And then today, this popped through the door. There you go. You're next. And yeah, it's another uh, nice addition from Second Sight. I am a fan of your next. And it is the reason why I give uh, Adam Wingard and Simon Barrett a bit of leeway as the proved to be a bit more hit and miss with uh, a lot of their other output shall we say but when they hit they they really hit in a way that brings something that is um playing with all of the familiar genre elements that they know and love but also feels somehow a bit fresh and unique uh, that happened with your next. That happened with the guest. I think the guest was Wingard and Barrett, although maybe I'm um completely mistaken. Uh, yeah, when when they're on great form, they really are on great form, and they're worth supporting. And I always hope for the best from them. That hasn't always come about, but um, I'll still support them. And they uh, aim that they will come around again to doing something great that I love. Their, their favourite thing I've done is the guest. So I'm pretty sure I'm right in remembering that as them. This is the usual stuff. I Well, I guess I will open up a bit. Uh, postcards. Book. Uh, really, really nice book actually. Featuring a writing from... Let's have a look. Oh, I forgot to put my glasses on. That's Heather Winston. Uh, Kurt Halfyard. Sheila Rowan Legg. Uh, Andrew Graves. M Martin Conterio. And Alexandra Heller Nicholas. If I've got those laughably wrong, it just proves uh, how much I now have to rely on my reading glasses uh, which is weird when you've never had glasses for over 40 years and then you suddenly have to get used to putting glasses on to read uh, yeah 
That was cool. It's a, it's a, a really nice set, as you would expect from Second Sight. There are a lot of extras on the disc as well. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a really nice presentation. And it's just lovely, lovely stuff. So I hope that makes up for the lack of movies last week. The podcast continues to be the podcast, of course. So we're always chatting about movies then. And we've had some good feedback on our pairing of Shrek Retold and Transos. <clears throat> I'm glad that uh, some people enjoyed that more than than we enjoyed watching some of those things. It's um, it, it was a fun conversation anyway. The YouTube channel also now has uh, some episodes uploaded. Dave has been uh, setting up the tech side of things so that the podcast automatically also uploads to YouTube. Now there are no fancy visuals. Unfortunately, you're not seeing us in video form. You are just getting the audio, but some people prefer to use YouTube players. If that is you, then please do check out the episodes that are now on there. Other than that, uh, I hope you tune in next week. Look forward to the, um, yeah, the, the elation from Tyler as we discuss X-Men, his choice. And I think we all know why he's had a hankering to revisit that film recently. And then um, it'll be fun to hear how low I can drag him. I mean, we're talking a pit of emotional despair with my pick, which is hundreds of beavers. So, you know, yeah, it'll it'll be a good one. And... Um, it's these moments that kind of make it all worthwhile. I really should get some kind of uh, amateur Steadicam set up for my phone, but I didn't want to hook it up today. Uh, so I apologise. I just wanted to get the video done. I've been very busy at work and I wanted to get content that was removed once again from the kind of ranting and the almost the public information of last week and get back to some movies. I remind you that we do stay focused on the movies and uh, yeah, I've certainly had a treat at the start of the week with these two movies and they are very much worth your time and or money if you have the funds. If you already have the Stop Making Sense set, then let me know what you think of the uh, flow now that they've, I think they've spliced in two extra songs for one of the cuts uh, that will be interesting for me to watch because I'm not used to the concert as it was for many years uh, I've seen it quite a few times so I'll be interested in that because I would never say no to more content from that era of Talking Heads because it seemed like they were operating at their peak as a live band but uh, yeah being used to one thing and then seeing something in a slightly different form can uh, sometimes be a little bit off-putting and uh, doesn't always work. So we'll just have to see. I've got to end by name-checking quite a lot of people because once again we've been getting name-checked by others and it's been lovely and I really appreciate it and we're quite forgetful about that. So whether it's the Not A Bomb podcast guys, uh, Sammy and Will, the Gentleman's Guide to Midnight Cinema, uh, Jose and Alex on Watch Skip Plus. Um, it's just, it's always appreciated. There's uh, John Horgan, who has the, um, the YouTube channel that I will link to in the comments because, John, I always forget the exact name and I don't want to get it wrong and Mr. Out People, I do apologise um yeah just other people who keep jumping on and around us whether in conversation whether in feedback whether in liking sharing links thank you all it's really appreciated uh my good friend bruce i always love seeing him happy that uh we've done something that he enjoys uh death by dvd of course uh we've had a, a long standing now relationship with them uh for 
well, long standing, yeah, I'm, I'm got to say a good, a good year or two, but it's been a, a really good connection. I'm always interested in what they're doing. They seem to be interested in what we're doing. It's a lovely back and forth. Uh, Donna the Dead, I always try and listen to her podcast. Uh, every week she's been dropping some, some good stuff lately. A lot of fun uh, coverage of movies that she's enjoyed. And is there anyone else? There'll be about half a dozen people that I've forgotten and I'll remember by the time I switch off this video. But that's it for now. I'm going to end before the phone drops off my makeshift stand. Um, those are all people you should check out. You should uh, definitely listen to, watch their videos, get involved in the conversations that are ongoing and the, uh, the nice feeling of community that happens as these conversations grow outwards and... Uh, go off on a variety of tangents it's very nice it's very lovely and we are happy to be a, a small part of that uh, so yeah i hope this is more positive uh, than anything from last week and and it's just uh yeah it's it's a nice feeling to be kind of back in a regular groove so take care i uh, hope you enjoyed the podcast last week i hope you enjoy the podcast coming up we do drop every episode on a Sunday now and because of the way the month runs, we will possibly be doing our special this month just dropping on the 1st of September. Uh, I think that's where it runs. That gives us a bit more time to cover the movies and we will see what we can do about getting some extra special episode in now and again when we can perhaps september we'll have two specials but don't quote me on that i've not run it past the guys yet and then if i force them to watch too many films they'll get angry and they'll take away my youtube privileges anyway that's it speak to you next week